Health and Healing 1. The scriptures below bring out the truth that God wants to heal us. Exodus 23 verses 25 to 26. Ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. Matthew 8 verse 17. Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Matthew 8 verses 2 and 3. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will, be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Acts 10 verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. In both the Old and New Testament covenant, God made provision for people to be able to experience divine healing. Exodus 15 verse 26, And said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt hear, will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. Isaiah 53 verse 5 but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Third John 2 Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Health and Healing 2 when Jesus sent out his early disciples to preach the gospel, they were given power to heal the sick as part of their commission. He also expects us as modern-day believers, disciples, to heal the sick. Luke 9 verses 1 and 2. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Luke 10 verses 1 and 9. After these things, the Lord appointed others 70 also and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place whither he himself would come and heal the sick that are therein and say unto them, the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Mark 16 verses 15 through 18 and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall be damned and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Health and Healing 3 Every person who came to Jesus and asked in faith received their healing. Matthew 9 verses 1 to 6 And he entered into a ship and passed over, and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go into thine house. Matthew 9, verses 20 to 22. Behold, 
a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years, came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch, touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Matthew 9, verses 27 through to 30. When Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. Health and Healing 4 How to Receive Healing from God You need to be fully persuaded that God wants to heal you. Meditate on God's word. Romans 10 verse 17 So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Proverbs 4 verses 20 through to 22 My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Line up your life with God's word and remove hindrances to you receiving your healing. Right eating. Psalm 103 verse 5. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? Honor parents and those in authority. Ephesians 6 verses 1 through 3. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Maintain right relations with the brethren. Get rid of unforgiveness. St. Matthew 5, verse 23 through to 26. St. Matthew 6, verse 14 and 15. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Health and Healing 5 How to Receive Healing from God Continued Line up your life with God's Word and remove hindrances to you receiving your healing continued confess outstanding sins psalm 66 verse 18 if i regard iniquity in my heart the lord will not hear me proverbs 28 verse 13 he that covereth his sins shall not prosper but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy handle the lord's supper with respect 1 Corinthians 11, verses 29 through to 31. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Seek to be whole before God and ensure that your inner man is prospering. Proverbs 17, verse 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. A merry heart seems to be the opposite of a broken spirit and has the opposite effect. Third John 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. 
Health and Healing 6. How to Receive Healing from God Continued. Ask believing that you receive. St. Mark 11 verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. 1 John 5 verses 14 through to 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Consistently confess with your mouth your healing and give thanks for it. Romans 10 verses 8 through to 10. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Proverbs 18 verse 21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Second Corinthians 4 verse 13 We have the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. Health and Healing 7 how to receive healing from God continued. Act on your faith. St. Matthew 14 verses 28 through to 31. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Acts 3, verse 6 through to 9. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and leaping and praising God.